So I, my name is Sabah Fadeen Ahmad, you in short, you, people call me Sabah. So I am a computational biochemist and uh, I do computer-based simulations to contribute in the drug discovery world. And uh, I was born and brought up in India and uh, basic education was in biology and uh, I studied botany and bioinformatics in the university. But uh, after uh, that I realized I want to do PhD and that for that reason I came to Germany and I did my PhD in, in from Heinrich Hein University in Dusseldorf. And uh, I, uh, during the course uh, of time, I realized that uh, I need some more skills uh, to connect my biology with computers. And in, in recent times, you all, we all see that the data science has taken over uh, uh, tremendously and there's a huge amount of data and then I needed some more skills I wanted to get go in depth of this thing so I decided to uh, get into the uh, data science field and when I was looking for the opportunities I found that uh, VBS coding school offers the course in English so it was exactly what I wanted and then I joined the school in September 2022 really good question so when i started like in august uh, so when i was like looking for these opportunities and when i end up in, in this bbs bootcamp i was uh, really uh, honestly i will say that i was uh, not very much like kind of like uh, because uh, uh, sure that it is the best fit for me because the course was in online that was the first worry because uh, i'm like more into interactive person like uh, interacting with teachers with the colleagues with classmates and so on but when i the course started like gradually gradually in like one or two days i realized like oh wow it's very interactive thanks to the instructors ben and monica over there like they were really making everyone engaged in the during the during the course and that was really very, very important for us to you know, go through this phase of bootcamp and of course what also matters a lot is like what uh, classmate you get and i was re i will say i was really lucky uh, the classmates were really nice and uh, we were divided like into uh, groups like it was not just one group we stayed together throughout the boot camp but it was randomly like every week we had new group so we got interaction with uh, all of the classmates and that was really amazing that uh, we got in, uh, like people were from different backgrounds different people from uh, different fields and like uh, they have level different level of thinking and uh, i believe like it was a really good strategy like how we can engage different participants from different background into uh, getting the same work done nicely and uh, yeah, yeah i i really like the strategy of how the course is structured and the you know, online platform from which we can get the information of what project we have to do that was also really cool and moreover like the uh, community uh, community community managers uh, out there at bbs they are really helpful in t like they took out time to come us in our classroom and they were uh, asking us about, about the feedback about our mentors about about instructors and how is the thing going with our projects and so on that was really like, helpful because we were not feeling alone at any time of the uh, of the course we were like uh, okay there's someone who, who who comes to us and talks to us and uh, along with the instructors of course and one more thing i loved uh, to uh, see there was uh, uh, it was like kind of uh, uh, every day we had in the morning like a morning toast and in the evening che evening checkout that that was really cool i love that doing this thing so the answer lies for both is in the campus phase like the best and the most difficult was in the campus phase because uh, in the campus phase i really enjoyed like every day of it uh, unfortunately it was uh, just uh, for three weeks the campus phase but i would like like to for more weeks but uh, i understand there are some kind of uh, uh, also limitations we have to go through but uh, I, I am really happy that i went to this campus phase and uh, what i loved a lot like when i reached there like everyone is like so friendly everyone is hugging over there and like you feel like you are a family over there and like even in the instructors are not like uh, like super boss like I am your instructor 
you go away from me don't sit near my table that's not the case so they are really friendly they they come to you they talk to you about your things and then we had lunch and uh, dinner together uh, and also like he sometimes you also see our instructors during the breakfast and like it was really cool that we also meet in person other people from the project it was really cool and uh, the, the i i also loved uh, the locality where the campus is uh, it was really cool near the riverside I, I i i loved i was i wish it was summer so it was more nice but uh, of course it was really cool and there was of course there is always a challenge uh, when you think uh, about uh, good things then also there are, comes some challenge and the, one of the challenge was that uh, uh, I have a family, so I couldn't uh, go for a longer time to Berlin, but that was something that is a personal challenge, but a uh, technical challenge was there I don't, in my final week. It was like the project was just for three weeks and we had to design our own project and we have to execute it and make it run by the uh, uh, final day of the presentation when we have to do. Mm, and I was uh, stuck over there and then my instructor, I asked the help from the instructor like, uh, please can you help me? And then he came to my desk and then he looked into the course and then he said, you can do it other way around. And why, why you have to do everything? You don't have to do everything. Like you have to just convince the people that your work is fine. And that was really encouraging because like if we want to finish everything in a short time, it's not possible. And that thing didn't come to my mind because uh, after my PhD, like after anyone is like PhD, everyone wants things like to be perfect. And uh, uh, that was thanks to Ben, like he came to me and like he told me like, yeah, you don't have to be 100% perfect. You have to do don't have to make everything validated of course you have to do but consider also the timeline you have you have to meet the deadline as well and that was really helpful so um, i really appreciate like how things work uh, over here and that that's how the bootcamp ended uh, uh, nicely and i was happy really happy <laughs> because i didn't expect it that i will be like chosen for the demo day presentation but i was there uh, eventually like people the jury liked uh, uh, my project and they liked uh, the idea behind it so so after i came back i took like a few days of rest let's say a weekend rest and then i got uh, i started uh, like, uh, with my application the boot camp was really like really really engaging so during uh, this boot camp i couldn't find time to make application and making application takes a lot of effort and takes takes time so during the boot camp i couldn't apply to anywhere but for that was good reason uh, but uh, after I finished with a good boot camp, I started making applications for a job and uh, I am happy that I got some interview calls and I'm preparing for them. So I'm looking for positive, positive outcome from the, those interviews. I realized like uh, there are different fields and like uh, it's not necessary that I stay in my field and uh, like uh, so i was like uh, f like from long time i was just believing in myself that i can be only uh, i will only get job or i will i'm only uh, good enough for biological or drug discovery projects or something <coughs> like or chemistry or something like that but uh, after the boot camp i realized uh, when i was able to go, uh, get through those uh, uh, different projects it was business related questions it was high housing prices or sales or publications there were different kind of projects we handled in this time and then i got a confidence that it's not just only the science related projects i can work into but i can also go into different job markets if i have those skills of uh, uh, coding if i have those skills of uh, programming i can end up into the other branches of science so that helped me uh, to get self confidence and nowadays like when i'm making applications i'm not just uh, bound to one uh, particular field but I am making application to diverse fields that was uh, helpful I was a bit afraid that uh, really coding is not something like uh, because I am completely from pure bi bi biology background I was afraid of mathematics and so on things so I was a bit afraid about these things but uh, uh, boot camp really really helped me like uh, like the way the courses is structured and the, how the instructors are taking care of the courses uh, it made uh, my dreams come true I will say <laughs>